Hi student, in this video, uh, I will go through uh, question 4 in your end of year revision worksheet right, that you have done for HPL. Okay, so many of you uh, indicated right, that you are not sure of how to do the question. Okay, so please listen carefully as I explain uh, how to approach such questions. Okay, so this is the kind of question that you will expect to see uh, for paper 2. Uh, it's usually the last question where you will be faced with a real world problem. Okay, so the difference between these questions and uh, other types of question is that uh, usually you'll be given quite a bit of information uh, that you may not all be using. So the first thing that you really need to do is to slow down and try to understand what is the information given, okay, and uh, how uh, you can maybe use them uh, to solve the problems later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what is the information given. Okay, so uh, take note of uh, how uh, they can be used later. Okay, so uh, Leila lives in Kuala Lumpur and drives a small family car. So we are given a table below on information that Leila can use to work out her driving cost. Right? How much uh, it takes to, uh, for her to drive a car. Okay, so first let's look at the title of the first uh, table right the title is amount of fuel use and is given in liters per hundred kilometer right so this line over here is you can think of it as per right so every liters uh, how many liters need needed for every 100 kilometers okay next look at the next title is called type of car so apparently for different type of car right the amount of fuel use will be different Right, so for example, you have the super mini, small family, large family, and a SUV. Uh, these are different types of car. Now let's look at the left hand side. So we have the type of driving. So now if it seems that if you are in a city or out of the city, right, or this thing called combined, okay, I will explain later. Okay, there is a different rate of use of the fuel. Okay, so you may be wondering uh, why there are different rates. Okay, so uh, give you some example. So for example, in the city, usually there's a lot of traffic lights. And uh, so you'll be stopping quite often. Okay, another reason is that in the city, okay, you also drive slower. So when you drive slower, uh, you will generally use more uh, fuel. But in the out of the city, right, uh, usually there will be less traffic lights and the uh, speed limit will be higher okay so in general you can expect that uh, the fuel economy uh, outside of the city to be better okay so lastly what is this combine okay so this combine uh, is the it, it happens when you are driving in both inside the city and out of the city okay so uh, the information given uh, is uh, like an estimate of how much uh, the petrol uh, the fuel economy is like okay if someone were to drive both inside and outside of the city uh, for the journey okay so now let's go back to the question so since Leila drives a small family car so actually uh, likely we will only need to focus on uh, this part okay right because it's a small family car so let's say what is this 5.0 mean okay this 5.0 means that for every 100 kilometer, okay, you are going to uh, spend, uh, use up about 5.0 liters. Okay, so this is the meaning of this information given. Okay, the next piece of information is the speed limits, right? So in the city, the speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. When you're out of city, there are two different types of roads. One is called the federal roads. The other is called the expressway. Each of them have a different uh, speed limit okay lastly we look at this table on fuel prices per liter right so here there are three different types of fuel regular premium and diesel so for each uh, type of fuel okay again there's its own rates so for example for regular petrol this means that one liter you will have to uh, it, it costs 2.07 dollars okay 
The last piece of information you need to take note of is that there's 5% discount with a loyalty card. Okay, so if someone has a loyalty card, the amount of petrol right, will have a 5% discount. Okay, so these are all the information that is given. So uh, in the next videos, right, we will look at how to reuse the information to answer the questions.